Welcome to Rad History. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. Also hit that bell icon to be notified of any historical updates. The Second World War was the last great naval conflict in history. It was the ultimate test of America's Navy and it produced many famous ships. People have been arguing over which battles were the most important, what might have happened, and so on, for the past 80 years. But what if there was a more objective way to look at which ships were really the best? Well, there sort of is. In this video, we're going to look at the most decorated ships of World War II in terms of battle stars, presidential unit citations, and Navy unit commendations. Battle stars are not a reference to that show where robots kill people in space. There were awards given to ships for contributing to battles or taking damage during battle. Presidential unit citations are awarded for special heroism in battle against an armed enemy. Navy unit commendations are basically the same thing, but for things that aren't quite considered heroic enough to get you the presidential one. This is how we'll be distinguishing our top 10. Number 10. USS Portland The USS Portland, named after the city of Portland, Maine, received 16 battle stars and a Navy unit commendation. Sailors nicknamed the ship Sweet Pea, which sounds like a name that would fit a canoe slightly better than it would fit a heavy cruiser. She was built between World War I and World War II and saw extensive use. At the Battle of the Coral Sea, she escorted an aircraft carrier called Yorktown and also rescued survivors of the Lexington, an aircraft carrier that sunk. Aircraft carriers were good at carrying aircraft, but they weren't always good at surviving on their own. At the Battle of Guadalcanal, the USS Portland was hit by a torpedo and took heavy damage. The torpedo caused the rudder to get stuck five degrees to starboard, and so the ship was forced to go in circles. Despite this, she continued to fire on Japanese ships while slowly spinning around. This was the battle she got the Navy unit commendation for. Number 9. USS Buchanan The USS Buchanan, named after Admiral Franklin Buchanan, received 16 battle stars and a presidential unit citation, making it just slightly more prestigious than the USS Portland. She was a Gleaves-class destroyer. Part of the design of the Gleaves-class was to spread out the engine rooms and the boiler rooms more, making it less likely that a torpedo would be able to destroy both at the same time. It was also the class that introduced the innovation of quintuple torpedo tubes because of what could be better than quadruple torpedo tubes. The USS Buchanan was part of the invasion of Iwo Jima and Okinawa. She also took General MacArthur to the battleship Missouri, where he officially accepted the Japanese surrender. Number 8. USS Nicholas Number 9 through 7 on this list are little interchangeable, since they all received 16 battle stars and a presidential unit citation. She's named after Samuel Nicholas who was the first officer ever commissioned in the Marines. She was part of the Fletcher class of destroyers, some of which were actually sold to the countries that had formally made up the Axis powers after World War II was over. This would have looked really stupid if they had then gone on to try and take over the world again and start World War II, but of course, that didn't end up happening. She got her presidential unit citation by saving the survivors of the torpedoed USS Helena. She fought off continuous Japanese attacks so that the Helena crew could escape sinking three Japanese ships in the progress. 700 survivors came aboard the Nicholas during the rescue mission. Number 7. USS Maori USS Maori, also with 16 battle stars and a presidential unit citation, has the distinction of being the fastest U.S. Navy destroyer ever. During speed trials, she reached a top speed of 42.8 knots. That's about 50 miles per hour, which might not seem that impressive until you realize it weighed 3 million pounds so it weighs slightly more than your car, which can go faster than 50 miles per hour. The USS Mari had been operating out of Pearl Harbor, but was luckily out on a mission at the time of the Japanese attack. Had the timing been slightly different, she might never have seen another battle of World War II. Number 6. USS Minneapolis The USS Minneapolis received 17 battle stars and was nicknamed Minnie, which might be even less intimidating than Sweet Pea. She was very nearly destroyed at the Battle of Tassafaronga, where she was hit by multiple torpedoes. Power was lost, the bow collapsed, the port side was ruptured, and two fire rooms were left open to the sea. Despite all of this, the ship managed to stay on the water long enough to reach the nearby island of Tulagi. When they got there, the crew camouflaged the ship with palm fronds and shrubs from the island so that it would be more difficult to see from the air and wouldn't get blown up in an air raid. The crew repaired the ship and it served out the rest of the war after its near-death experience. Number 5. USS New Orleans The USS New Orleans, also with 17 battle stars, had a highly eventful time in World War II. 
Crew members of the USS New Orleans received a total of 206 Purple Hearts, so this was not the ship you wanted to end up on if you were looking to just calmly sail around and avoid taking too much fire. She was present for the very start of America's entrance into World War II. Moored at Pearl Harbor during the attack, her engines were being repaired and she was getting power from the base. This was bad since power from the base got cut when the bombs started to drop. The crew managed to get the engine going by flashlight, while people on deck fired at the Japanese planes with rifles and pistols. In all the chaos, the keys to the locks on the ammunition ready boxes couldn't be found. The crew had to break them open and then had to fire the guns manually. The New Orleans took no major damage at Pearl Harbor thanks to a combination of luck and this sort of crazy patchwork resistance. Number 4. USS O'Bannon The USS O'Bannon received 17 battle stars as well as a presidential unit citation. She was part of Destroyer Squadron 21 which participated in highly dangerous patrol, escort, and bombing duties. After she helped rescue crew members of the sinking ship Strong and Chevalier, she got the nickname Lucky O for taking damage but no casualties. She received her presidential unit citation for splendid achievements and the gallant fighting spirit of her officers and men. Admiral Halsey considered the USS O'Bannon so important that after the war he would say, the history of the Pacific War can never be written without telling the story of the USS O'Bannon. Time after time, the O'Bannon and her gallant little sisters were called upon to turn back the enemy. They never disappointed me. Number 3. USS San Francisco The USS San Francisco also received 17 battle stars and a presidential unit citation. It may be the ship on the list that suffered the most for a citation. During the Battle of Guadalcanal, 77 of her sailors were killed. Among the 77 were Rear Admiral Daniel J. Callahan and Captain Cassin Young. 105 additional men had been wounded. The ship itself took 45 hits and somehow managed to leave the battle in one piece. 22 different fires had to be put out during the course of the battle. Number 2. USS San Diego The USS San Diego received 18 battle stars. It was armed with a total of 16 38 caliber anti-aircraft guns and 16 40 mm guns. It had one of the heaviest anti-aircraft broadsides of any warship in World War II in any country's navy. Its primary role in combat would be anti-aircraft duty and it would shoot down many Japanese planes during its career. The San Diego was there for almost every single major battle in the Pacific during World War II. However, if you were going to be on a ship, this is the one you would want to be on. Despite taking hits on a few occasions, she never lost a single crew member. Maybe she's the one that should have had the nickname Lucky. She was in 34 battles and traveled 300,000 total miles, the equivalent of sailing around the equator 12 times. It was given the distinction of being among the first ships to enter Tokyo Bay since the start of World War II after Japan surrendered. She was also part of the whimsically named Operation Magic Carpet, which was what they called the logistical problem of how to get all 8 million American military personnel back to the States. Number 1. USS Enterprise The USS Enterprise is the most decorated ship of World War II. With a whopping 20 battle stars, a presidential unit citation, and a navy unit citation. If the name Enterprise sounds familiar to you, you're probably thinking of the ship from Star Trek. The creator of Star Trek, Gene Roddenberry, named his Starcraft after this ship, saying that he always considered it a heroic ship. Captain Kirk's ship was originally going to be called the SS Yorktown after the Enterprise's sister ship. Somehow, Yorktown doesn't seem as spacey to me. The car rental company Enterprise is also named after this ship. The USS Enterprise is the only carrier on this list and was built during the 30s. She was actually the seventh ship to be named Enterprise and got the nickname the Big E. It's a fitting nickname since at 64,120,000 pounds, she was nothing if not big. She was officially launched in 1936, only two other aircraft carriers that were commissioned before World War II survived the war, and she didn't survive because she sat around and managed to dodge all the big missions. She participated in more major actions in the Pacific than any other ship in the Navy. The USS Enterprise played a big role in Pearl Harbor. 18 of her Douglas SBD Dauntless dive bombers were sent to the base during the attacks. Seven were shot down and eight airmen were killed. SBD officially stood for Scott Bomber Douglas, but over time got the nickname Slow But Deadly. This makes her the only aircraft carrier that had men at Pearl Harbor during the attack and the first aircraft carrier to sustain casualties during the Pacific Theater. Later, when her aircraft sank the Japanese submarine I-70, she became the first American ship to sink a full-sized enemy warship. 
On three separate occasions during the Pacific Theater, the Japanese announced that the USS Enterprise had been sunk in battle. They were wrong every time. Because of this ability to continue to not be sunk despite reports to the contrary, she got the nickname the Grey Ghost, which is definitely the coolest nickname on this list. She destroyed a total of 911 enemy planes, sunk 71 ships, and damaged 192 more. This makes her not just the most decorated ship of the war, but the most dangerous. Gene Roddenberry wasn't the only person who thought that the name Enterprise should be kept alive. A new USS Enterprise, scheduled to be completed in 2028, is being constructed right now, so it looks like the legacy of the Grey Ghost will carry on. This has been your historical updates with Rad History. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment below, and smash the bell for any and all updates. See you guys next time. Next time.